Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you a sort of secret place that took me two playthroughs to find. And in order to do this, I had to reload an old game from before I've gone to the Red Rocket truck stop that you find early on. And had to reload it so that I could show you this. And the place that I want to show you is here at the truck stop. Hey, boy. What are you doing so out here me, all by yourself? Let me get dog meat real quick. You want to come with me, pal? Okay. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Okay, so here we go. And this is what I want to show you. If you go back here in Red Rocket Truck Stop, there's a computer. And if you... Oops. If you use the terminal and read what it says, it talks about take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming, blah, blah, blah. Hey, if nature is going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? So it tells you right there that there's some kind of an underground storage somewhere. So the first time I played through this, I when I read that, I thought, oh, well, there must be a hatch in the floor, right? So I went searching all around and found nothing. Let me just see what this dog's complaining about. Where did he go? He said that he found something, but I don't... What do you find? I know that there's some... I know that there's some mole rats. Well, anyway, back to what I was trying to tell you. So I searched all around this place, looking and looking and looking for a hatch or a, some kind of a hole in the ground. And I could not find one. I looked in the ice box. I looked in the dumpster. I looked everywhere. Then on my second playthrough, something happened. I was down here, and I found it by accident. And that's where it is, right there. So, again, I don't know. Maybe I was just being lame and not finding it you know what I mean but I could not find it as hard as I tried second playthrough for some reason I wandered down that little sort of I don't know pathway there and there it is obvious as day so we'll go through this real quick take out whatever's in here and uh because I don't remember now I think it's mole rats hopefully we'll take him out knowing me I'll get killed but We'll give it a shot. I'm, I, this character is like brand new, fresh out of the vault. I did not even discover. I didn't even discover that I could have the. Oops, there's another one. Oh, I run right up on me. Jeez. I didn't even discover that, that I can have Sanctuary Hills in this, in this playthrough. So that's how new the playthrough is. So, once we clear this out, I'll show you why it's cool to find early on. Whoops. Got <laughs> These mole rats are so annoying. Alright, so here we go. Check it out. You have, let's see, what is this, an engine? Probably not too much of a help. But somewhere down here, as I recall, there was... Oh, here's something worth having. A fusion core, right? Early on in the game. That's a great thing to find early on. Because you're going to need fusion cores for your power armor, right? A bunch of glass, right? You got beer bottles and other assorted junk. So what I'm trying to get at is it's smart to come in here before you get too far in the game and clean out all this stuff. Okay, so where is it? I thought it was a safe or a... It was something full of stuff. Oh, there it is. It's this duffel bag. It has a bunch of good stuff in it. Round it has some rounds, a little grenade, Molotov cocktail, pistol. Stuff that you can at least sell, if nothing else. So, there are a couple of other sort of hidden areas that I've covered in other videos. And I may just do a little quick little series on hidden areas or special places special places that I found 
during gameplay. One of the places I found was during making a video like this. It was kind of funny because I was doing a video really about something else entirely and I came across a, a hidden place that I had never seen before. So, anyway, we're going to go back. Oops. Oh, there is a safe in here. Okay. Did you see it just a second ago? There's a safe right there. There we go. And it's a novice safe. I have only one bobby pin, so I have to be careful here. Oh, that was lucky. Sweet. But here you go. So you can get some, some more, uh, or another, I suppose, cocktail, as well as some psycho. I, I've never played using the combat assisting drugs like this. I just don't like it because then you get addicted and you have withdrawal symptoms and it's a pain in the butt. And then something I learned I didn't realize before is that vegetable starch is used as an adhesive. So, and it's, it, you know, you can run out of adhesives when you're modifying your weapons. So it's good to keep this stuff around. You can also cook vegetable starch on a campfire. So anyway, okay, so I'll take that stuff. So now you know about the cave under Red Rocket and where to find it. And, you know, you search around these caves, you'll find other useful stuff too. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful about is that there are some spots in the cave where there's radiation so you just want to be careful not to expose yourself too much so i will see you on the next video i hope you found this helpful or interesting entertaining whatever and if you did please consider subscribing i'll catch you next time